All right, moving on from the constructors. Talked about them. So now we're moving on to the driver standings, which I'm sure will be more right. Um, again, we're going to focus on the top six for this. There's 20 different drivers. I'm not going to worry about who scores the most zero points and who crashes the most. And all those guys at the bottom five, like that could be anybody at any time. I don't care enough to be that wrong. So we're <laughs> going to focus on the top six where we'll still be pretty wrong, but at least it'll be a better shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So number six, who do you have number six? Sons. I do too. Okay. So I'm assuming you're kind of with me on this. I'm not saying Sons is the sixth best driver. Yeah. I just think we car you know all yeah. that kind of stuff yeah i definitely looked at like the reliability with the car the consistency of the driver and just like the knowledge we have with prior to pre-testing so i wouldn't i <laughs> yeah. would not be shocked if he changes he could finish fourth or third and i'd be like yeah it makes sense but i think i'm gonna have him as sixth right now just i would agree knowing what i know now yep so so moving into fifth i have russell Mm -hmm. That's probably a shocker for some people. But again, this is kind of like to hedge our bets here. I would not be surprised if he finished third or mm -hmm. second. But yeah. like, again, knowing what I know now, I don't, I think Red Bull's still a machine. Mm -hmm. So Merck's is getting a little bit better, but there's no way Hamilton lets him beat him twice. Yeah. I, th I think, I think Russell's an amazing driver, but I'm also looking at who's around him. Yeah. So like Leclerc is a very aggressive driver. Max, He's a very <laughs> aggressive driver. And then Hamilton, I, I just can't really see being like, mm, there's my partner. Bye. Like, it didn't like work it with is, Nico. Yeah. So it, that's going to be very, a yeah. very tough crowd. So yeah. I think fifth, but it's anyone's game. Yeah. So who do you have at fourth then? Perez. I do as well. And this is where I know I'm going to catch a lot of heat in the comments, but I think Perez is the worst of the driver in the top six. Okay. But his car is just that good mm -hmm. that you put anybody else in the top six in that car and they win the world title. Perez is really difficult for me because I, I agree with you. I'm like, oh, yeah, like he's definitely six. But when he turns it on. Oh, he's Schumacher I'm, when he turns it on. I, I don't know who he is. He, it's the He's the weirdest driver. But he for only me. turns it on if it's like raining on a street circuit. <laughs> and then he's like literally like Schumacher. But it's like. I, don't, I know. I don't understand his driving style. He's, no. like, consistently good, but, like, not consistently great. great. Yeah. So he could finish sixth, and I'd be like, yeah, that's what I thought. Or he could be right up there with Max, and I'm, I'm going to be like, wow, Red Bull, like, great one, too. Great car. So, yeah. Yeah. So. I would agree. I'll leave it at that. Okay. And this is where I think Perez slots in, too, because the next three... Mm -hmm. Any one of these three, we could sit here next year, and they these three win the world title, and I'd be like, yeah, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Yeah. So, so third, who do you have? So I have Leclerc third. Okay. Um, which pains me because I do want him to win. He's um, good enough to win. Yeah, but I just that that I think it's the car. I think Leclerc is an amazing driver, and he's a driver that can win. I just. Yeah. His car. Yeah. Yeah. No, I would agree. Um, he's a good enough driver to win, and I would not be shocked if he won the world title if Ferrari gave him a car to do it, or the strategy department to do it, or the reliability yeah. to do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, the man won three of the first two over Max. Yeah, he has and it there, but it's all up to... Like, if he performs to his ability and the car performs well, then... We're sitting here next year and he's the world champion. Yeah. But I just don't. Think I don't so. trust Ferrari <laughs> more than I don't trust Leclerc, um, because everyone's going to bring up right. I can already see, hear the comments now, like, "Oh, well, Leclerc crashes too much." At this point in Max's career, Max had more crap, more DNFs than Leclerc mm -hmm. did. Yeah, and most of Leclerc's this season were engine reliability. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when you get the more season you get, the less crashing you have. Look at Hamilton in his early days. Oh yeah. So, um, but yeah, I would agree. Okay. So two. This is the big one, then, right? Who's your number two driver? Hamilton. I would agree. I think Mercedes is back. I think Hamilton is angry and hungry. Mm -hmm. So I think Hamilton wins. Yeah. Or Hamilton gets, gets second. second. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think Mercedes is back, but I still think that Red Bull is going to be a bullet. And yep. I think Max will get his third. You think Max will get his third? Mm -hmm. I have Alonzo. Shut up. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I think Max will get his third. I think Hamilton will be close. You know Alonso's going to win now because we just both made that joke. Oh my gosh, I know. <laughs> what be, do we know? Right. Um, I too have Max winning his third. Um. Yeah, that's. I think it'll. Yeah. Thank you. I, I do as well. Until we come back here next year and we're congratulating Stroll on his championship that he bought. <laughs> no, I, All right. Yeah, yeah. So let us know in the comments below what you guys think. Um, but that's our top six. I think Max gets his third and Lewis finishes second. I do not think it goes like Abu Dhabi where it's down to the last race. But I do not think Max wins six races early. No. No. Yeah. I, I, think, I think it will eventually go back to like old F1 where it was like, well, if Every they... Other. Yeah. 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 So I think yeah. this, I, ho- I hope this year is a little bit more competitive. Um, but I said that last year and we saw what happened. So who knows? You know. All right. So this video is getting a little bit long. So we're going to wrap it up with two bold predictions. Mm-hmm. Bolder than declaring who's going to win the championships. Yeah. Okay. So you want to start? No. No. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> I will start. So one of my bold predictions is I think the top three teams will be the only ones that win a race this year, just like last year. However, unlike last year, I think another team will get on the podium. Mm -hmm. I know Norris did, but that's only because Leclerc binned it in Imola. So I don't really count Norris on that one. Sorry, Norris. But I think there will be more teams in third this year. Mm -hmm. But I think the top three teams are still the only ones that win. Yeah. Uh, Unless something crazy, crazy happens. Yeah, but the gap but, is so massive. Yeah, I, th- I think the top three are just going to kind of be in their own yeah. own world. All right, so. what's yours? There will be <laughs> there will be a fist fight in the paddock this year. Who? Ocon and Gasly. More than Alonzo and Stroll. Or Alonzo and Stroll. <laughs> I'm saying it. All right. I think there's some emotions... And I feel like Ocon and Gasly, I know they said that they're on good terms, but I don't know. There's always been like this weird yeah. heatedness between them. And then Alonzo and Stroll have just the weirdest pairing personality. How many times has Stroll taken Alonzo out like the last couple of years? Yeah. So I, I, ju- I just don't see this going yeah. well. But Netflix will love it. Yep. It's going to be like hockey. <laughs> Throw off the gloves. Yeah. <laughs> the driver gloves, they have to go like... Throw. Yeah. Helmet down. I keep the helmet on. Those those are so precious. Yeah, but I don't have an ego enough. I just keep the helmet on because they're so good. F1 drivers. That's true. They have an ego. I just don't want my face hit. It sounds like it hurts. <laughs> keep the helmet on. It protects you. So that's my one of my bold predictions. Um, last year, obviously, neither of ours happened. Nope. So we'll see how this goes. And I don't want them to fight, but I just think there's like there's a lot of tension. like tension and bad blood. Yeah. So I don't know. I see I see some All right. some drama. Netflix will love it. Mm-hmm. So thank you for watching all the way through. Here's to a better 2023. Yay! F1's F1's back. back. All right, talk to you guys soon. <laughs>